Welcome to Fast Form. Today we're going to set up our 1.9 wall system incorporating a corner and also a radius wall. For the purposes of the video we've already pre-drilled the holes for the uprights and the push pulls. We've also marked everything out ready. So we're going to start by setting up our internal corners. The internal corners are fixed down with two raw bolts and each section is 600 millimetres high. When setting the internal corners up, make sure that the corner is plumb both ways. Um, you may need to use some kind of metal shims or packers to get this in the right position. Poor height today is going to be 1.8 metres, so we're going to use three corner sections bolted together. The corner sections bolt together using two M16 nuts and bolts. The corner sections are set 18mm back from the line to allow for an 18mm plywood. Bolts are tightened up using the battery impact wrench and a spanner. The next step is to in install the first upright. Again, this is fastened down using one 120mm raw bolt. keeping it back again 18 millimetres from your face of concrete. Once the first upright's in position, the next stage is to secure it in place using a push-pull prop. These are bolted down to the floor using the push-pull feet using one raw bolt. The top of the push pull is fastened to the upright using one of the long bolts.
once fastened, the kicker prop can then be fastened in position in exactly the same way. Once the push balls are in position and secured, we're now going to use one of the horizontal braces just to mark out the position for the next upright brace. And we start bolting these together now to form our panel. For the purpose of the video, we're going to switch to time lapse. As you can see, we've started uh, fitting the plywood now to the inside face of the system. The important thing with the plywood is to make sure that all the edges end up on one of the horizontal or vertical beams. Plywood is all screwed from the back side using the 25mm screws. The easiest way is to build the frame first, then slide the plywood in um, as you build each section. It just makes it easier to fit the plywood. We're going to fix a stop end and a grout check to the top of the pour. Sometimes if, if, it's, uh, if the pour is the finished height, it's going to be uh, a 25 by 25 angle fillet. Um, for this pole, we're actually going to continue on from it, so we're going to use a, a 25 by 25 grout check on this. We're going to flip to uh, time lapse now. That's the straight wall section finished for the inside. Uh, what we've done now, we've bolted a 4x2 timber to the last upright. Uh, we've set that 12mm um, proud of the front face of the upright. And that's to accommodate for the 6mm plywood that's now going to go around the radius. Um, so that should then marry up with the 18mm plywood that's already on the face. For the radius section, we're going to use the 1.9 uprights. Uh, we, we're having to screw a 4x2 timber to the face of each of these because this time the 6mm plywood has to be screwed from the front face and not from the back face as before. Uh, this time, um, with using the individual uh, uprights and being the 1.9 system, um, we're actually going to not put the kicker props in as the system has been designed um, to work without those at, at 1.9. Uh, we're now going to shoot to time lapse. I'd just like to show you our Alcus sheeting um, that we send out for all our radius work. Um, this will help conform to the 90% less carbon emissions than using timber and plywood. Um, for our video, we used a 6mm plywood sheet, but this is what we would generally um, send out. So this is some radius alcus sheeting that we've had made for one of our customers. It's been heat treated and bent to the right radius for the job. We're now going to install the external shuttering. Um, we've put some divvy sleeves on. Um, they're cut for the width of the wall. In this case it's a 200mm thick wall so we cut the sleeves at 180mm and we put the two 10mm cone ends on. Um, this is to protect the divvy bar so that uh, it can be pulled out afterwards. 
We're now going to switch to time lapse to show you how to install the external shutter in. With the main wall all in position and fixed now, the corner braces are on, all bolted up, we're now going to start installing the external wall on the radius shutter. So we've first fixed the first two uprights in position and we've now made a panel putting 4B2s onto the back of the 6mm plywood. These are going to line up with the uprights and once in position the timber is going to be screwed to the uprights from behind as, as we've done before. Thanks for watching um, and that's how we set up a corner, a straight wall and a radius wall using the